All right, Flo, what the hell is going on, man? Why is Debo Samuel following all these Raider guys? It's getting weird, man. I don't like it, but it's the offseason. We got to talk about it. What do you think on this, man? Yeah, man, freaking. I understand what he's doing. He has to show the Niners that he's going to be in talks with other teams. If we're not giving him that money, he's going to go look for it, you know? And this is kind of the first step. He's starting to like his buddies from other teams. Obviously, all these players, they're friends with each other on the outs, you know? It's not like how it used to be where you weren't allowed to talk to these other players. It was kind of like a collusion or whatever that mm-hmm. word is, yeah. you know? But it's a different ball game nowadays. The players have the options to do pretty much whatever they want. So this kind of hurts in two senses because if we lose them, I would be pissed. And if he went to the Raiders, I would be pissed. Man, obviously, they used to be our Bay Area rivals, even though they were kind of whack when they were here. Mm-hmm. But, you know, as far as their fan base, man... I don't know if I could show up to the gym, go hang out with my friends, especially the ones who are Raider fans, and then them telling me that Debo's playing with them, man, mm-hmm. that would really hurt, man. Yeah, man. I think I think he's doing it, obviously, to try to uh, pinch nerves of the 49ers organization, you know, because all of a sudden, out of nowhere, he just started falling, boom, boom, one Raider after another. It kept going on and going on. Everyone's like, what the heck is going on, you know? Why is Debo following all these Raider players? And I get it. They could be friends and all, but he didn't do that for that. He did it because he wanted to send a message out to the 49ers organization that he's willing to go different places, you know? he If he has to go to Vegas, he would go to Vegas, you know? Um, I just don't think that the Raiders have any money after spending that big ass money contract for a freaking Devontae Adams, thirty million. I don't think they're gonna pay another thirty million dollars for a receiver. And they just got their tight end, Waller, one of the highest paid tight ends in the game. So they don't really have the money for that. But I think Debo's pretty much trying to send a message to the 49ers organization that he would be willing to go to another team if they pay him the right right dollar. So yeah, and I believe this message that Demo Samuel sending to the Niners is pretty much this. It ain't about the money. It's about the damn money. <laughs> so you got to pay the guy, man, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> We've seen this story before. We've been saying it. T.O. This could be T.O. 2.0 if this happens. That's why we are constantly harping, sign the man now. Yeah. We saw T.O. leave us during his prime. What did he do? He went to the Super Bowl, almost won it. He ran into Tom Brady and Bill mm-hmm. Belichick, but... He freaking still was that close to winning it. And mm-hmm. I think Debo could get us to the Super Bowl again. He's already, he hasn't really taken us because that was his rookie year, but he's been so, he last year he almost took us pretty much yeah. solo. Yeah. So I'd say keep him, man. Freaking pay the man for what he did. Get him for his services. What do you guys think about this? Debo Samuel uh, following all the Raiders players. What do you think about it? Is it just no big deal? Or do you think he's doing it to try to send a message to the 49ers organization? Let us know down below, guys. Make sure to like this video, comment, hit the notification bell, and we'll talk to you guys next time. Peace. Peace. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys.